sometimes instead of looking at uh, the space, uh, we're interested in, in a detail or one aspect of a building. So what I want to draw is one of the portals, entry portals to Susala Library and look at the geometry. Even though it's a collegiate Gothic structure and we get absorbed with the details, I first want to block out the three-dimensional form. That's the interesting thing about drawing is that we're trying to convey always three dimensions on a two-dimensional surface. And I want to block out the three-dimensional form of one of these entry portals. And I'm going to start with the simple plane of the portal and looking at it, it's about one unit wide by about two plus high. So that's what I want to start with is that one vertical plane. And now looking at that, that's one, that's the middle bay, entry portal bay. Now take into account there's a, that that bay has thickness. Notice that I'm simplifying the details. I'm just trying to work with the basic geometry. And because it's a symmetrical structure, when I do one side, I'm working simultaneously on the other side as well. I'm going to push this back a little bit, give it some depth. marking the center point of the peak. Drawing arch forms, try to start with the spring line, center line.
Okay, done. Well, what do I say about this? Um, when it, I'm trying to push back this void space at the entry, and when I do the tones, I'm trying to be careful not to have it too flat to imply that it's a space rather than a surface that's been painted. These sort of quick studies are really useful to understand the proportions. Main thing to keep in mind is that if I looked at this in plan, the I started off with a surface like this, and these are the actual surfaces that I drew, and then I kept pushing back to another plane, and then pushing back to another plane, and then finally the void space in here. So I, was, I started off with this plane, push back, and then push back in plan. So that's really the mass, and that's what I was drawing in perspective. <laughs>